I am Neharika, back with a new lesson for you. Today we are going to look at the difference between even though, even if, even when, even so. Most of the people think that these phrases can be used interchangeably. However, that's not the case. There is a difference between these phrases. And that's what we are going to learn in today's lesson. So let's get started. Let's first understand the difference and then we will have a look at some examples. So the first one that I have for you is even though. Now even though means when you have a definite outcome, when something it refers to something that is definitely happening. So it refers to a definite outcome. Now let's have a look at the second phrase which is even if. Now even if refers to a possible outcome something that is imagined or a possible outcome. The third phrase that we have for you is even when. Now even when is referred to something that is occasionally done or something that happens rarely. And then the last phrase that we have for you is even so. Even so is usually used instead of using the words but or however. However, it also displays the emotion of being surprised or it displays unexpected results. So if you say a sentence using even so, it might display a very unexpected result or even surprise, okay? So now let's quickly have a look at some sentences here. Just before that, let me write this down. Okay, so the first example that I have for you over here is using the phrase even though, even though the interview went bad, John got the job. So here, this has already happened. It's in the past. Now remember, we use the phrase even though, either in the past, okay, something that has already happened or is currently happening. So we understand the tenses better when we use the word even though, when something has already happened or is currently happening. So if you look at the example here, even though the interview went bad, John got the job. So it gives us an idea that the interview has already happened. Okay, John has already been interviewed. And though it really went bad, he still got the job. So here, he got the job is the definite outcome. Okay, so that's exactly the reason why we have used the phrase even though. Now, let's have a look at the second example here. Even if he wins the lottery, he won't have enough money. So, here we saw that the phrase even if refers to a possible outcome, something that we imagine. So, here when we say that even if he wins the lottery, so there's a rare chance of he winning the lottery, okay, we're just imagining that he may or he may not win a lottery, he still won't have enough money. So probably he is so poor or probably he has a lot of loans, he's in debt. So even if he 
wins lottery, he still won't have enough money for himself. So here we are using the phrase, even if he wins the lottery is a very possible outcome. Okay, it may or it may not. You're just imagining. All right. The third one that I have for you here is even when I talk slowly, she doesn't understand. Now, even when refers to something that just occasionally or rarely happens. So if you look at this example here, even when I talk slowly, she doesn't understand. So usually when we try to explain something in a very slow manner, okay, when we talk slowly, it's inevitable that the person will understand you. But here, she doesn't understand. So, which means that it just happens rarely, you know, not, it doesn't happen with everybody. So just is, this is just a rare case that even when I talk slowly, she doesn't understand. So here, even when is used, the reason because this happens rarely, okay? Usually when you talk slow, when you are explaining something slowly, the person understands, but here she doesn't, okay? And then the last sentence that I have for you here is, she is loud and unfriendly. Even so, I like her. So usually the people who are extremely loud and who are unfriendly, okay, who do not talk to you properly, they have a lot of attitude. We do not like such people, isn't it? But here, if you see, we are using the phrase even so. So we use the phrase even so instead of but or however. And if you look at the example, she's loud and unfriendly, but I like her, okay? Or even so, I like her. So we are using even so instead of using the word but, and it is also displaying the emotion of surprise. So it's quite surprising that she's loud and unfriendly and you still like her. So it's pretty much an unexpected result, right? So that's why we are using the phrase even so. So let's quickly revise this. Even though is used, it refers to a definite outcome, whereas even if is a possible outcome. Okay, it may, it may not, you're just imagining. The third one is even when something that happens rarely or occasionally. And the last one, even so, is used instead of using but or however. And of course, it displays the emotion of surprise. All right, now, so that I know that you have really understood this lesson, please go ahead and take a test and let me know how much did you score. I'll be back with a new lesson for you. Till then.